Well, good morning. Happy March 1st, 2024. Wow. I can't believe the words just came out of my mouth. Where's this year gone? Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM on this fabulous formal Friday. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm a formal Maddie Conklin. I love your dress. Thank you. Um, if, if I may go on a bit of a tangent. Please do. I was so good for the past like month and a half. I did not go shopping. And you know I love Marshalls. I do. So yesterday I was over by Bed Bath & Beyond getting some scents for the house. And I said, well, let me just sneak into Marshalls real quick. Mm -hmm. Just just to see. Impulse I purchase. It. I love it. Absolutely love it. Love I also it. want to give a shout out to Carol, who works at Marshalls, and her daughter Joy, who are loyal viewers. Um, she you. saw me yesterday. She's like, you haven't been in here in a while. I go, I know. I've had myself on a very short leash. Yeah. We're just slowly extending it because I was going crazy for a little bit, OK? You know what I think would really finish this outfit off? What? Your Moira Rose wig. <laughs> Why did I know you were going somewhere with Moira? Because I, I looked it. and it's I was like, very this Moira. is very Moira. It's, it's like very 80s esque Moira Rose. And giving. by the way, I feel very 80s with you. I feel like this is something they would wear in like uh, Pretty in Pink or The Breakfast Club. Yeah. You know, like the, the little skinny tie. And by the way, these have like martini and martini, glasses. little shakers. Anyway. I was I told him this morning, I go, ooh, Mr. Dappa, you look so nice. Just call me Dappa Dan, if you will. Dappa Dan, Dappa Dan. Jeremy Dan. Allen Rabe the third. Oh, thank thank you. Ooh. Madison Renee Conklin, Esquire the Fourth. <laughs> Esquire the Fourth. Um, Maddie. What? I'm gonna pop quiz for you. Okay, March first. March first, guess what I had for dinner last night? You had, let me guess. Salmon. I made salmon. You made the salmon. I tell you, the viewers know if I like something. Now I did not make the wrap, but I was just it so. It was so good. It was though. so good. We. That was the easiest way I've ever made salmon, and uh -huh. it was so flaky and delicious. But here's what I did at home, per my mama, which I think we made this on the show a few years ago when my mom was here out at the Weather Garden. I made some salmon fillets. Okay. Just like we made on the show in the oven, 400, about 25 minutes, flaky, delicious. Then on top, I slathered on a pesto cream cheese glaze. Did you mix the cream cheese? Yes. In the, oh my goodness. I got a little whipped cream cheese. Oh, I got a little handful of pesto, mixed it together for the besto, <laughs> slathered it on the salmon, and then guess what I put on top? Just a little bit of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh. Heaven. Is that all you had? That's all I had for dinner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no accoutrements, but I mean, no. hey, that sounds like very delicious, the very cream hearty. The cheese pesto and the cheese with the salmon. Now, I wasn't going to tell you this, oh. but I got three salmon patties, though. OK. <laughs> so it was three salmon. Got it was a lot filling. of protein. A, a lot. lot of protein and a lot of yeah, filling. Because I was at Price Cutter getting it, and I was like, OK, we just made this on the show. Which one should I get? So he was like, oh, I recommend these. And You know what's so funny? Uh. I know you had a shoot yesterday after work, and um, I was going to the rental property, so I passed the Price Cutter on Battlefield. And it was probably around the time you were there, and I was like, I can't pinpoint his car just yet. Before you had your blue car, yeah. I was like, I could see. So I like literally did a little quick check to see if you were there to get in your salmon. I didn't. I couldn't find your car, but <laughs> I was stalking you. Well, I guess. <laughs> I will say too, since I, I need to get my car looked at since the dent. Like nobody else can really see it, but I see it, and I, it annoys me. Yeah. I need to go to a body shop and see if they can pull it out. But because of new cars, me and my family, what we do is every time we get a new car. We try to park at the furthest parking spot away, away. from the store. Yep, so you don't get hit. Don't dinged. get the dings. Yep. Just saying. So if you want to see my car, look at the furthest place in the parking lot. <laughs> I don't know if you should put that information I should out really there. Tell, well, hey, the viewers <laughs> haven't seen it yet. I've never posted about it. So there you go. Know. There you go. You don't know, guys. You tricky. Yeah. Tricky. It's trick to rock around. Yeah. Um, by Just the way, what did you guys Angela. have for dinner last night? Oh. Uh. <laughs> put him on the spot. So <laughs> long ago. I, oh, I had Subway. Eat fresh. Eat fresh. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy. Yes, yes, see? That. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I I had a bagel with uh, marinara sauce and cheese and pepperoni. So I made oh, a, a pizza, pizza bagel. bagel. A grown up bagel bite. That sounds there you go. so good. Ooh. Yep. Yep. I made it delicious. I think I also had some popcorn. I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it was a grazing type of nice. evening. I like it. Yeah. Okay. At the Inman household. So. There you go. Uh, story for you here today, yep. March first, National Day of Unplugging. Okay, oh. a concept I think many of us could get behind. A 24-hour period <coughs> running from, bless you. Sorry. Even though you <laughs> coughed and didn't sneeze. It's okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a 24-hour period running from sunup to sundown today. This day is meant to carve out precious time to unplug, relax, reflect, be active, visit the outdoors, connect with loved ones. U.S. Cellular did a survey that found 56% of people have been ignored by someone that you're with because they're on their phone. 75% of those surveyed 
spend at least an hour on social media every day with 24% spending as much as three to four hours per day. I'm guilty of that occasionally. It happens. Um, yeah. I mean, between the hours of 3.30 a.m. and noon, I'm probably yeah, yeah. a good hour or two of that is probably spent perusing social media for things. And then when I go home, I'm scrolling. So yeah. it's just a vicious cycle. Today, though? But it's hard to unplug in our business, though, because it we're is. always I know. on I feel something. We have, we have to. to find stories. Yeah. We're yeah. finding things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also just feel, too, I feel, <laughs> without it, I just, I don't know. This is like the true <laughs> millennial here is where you're just. I cannot function. To it. Yeah. Uh, I could, Benny, I just picture Angela walking down the street today on No Plug Day, and she's walking, and she's like, Hundred percent. Like, I don't She's know. Oh, I can't. That's me without coffee right now. I'm like giving yeah. coffee, and it is so what? Oh, yeah, hard. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole long story. But yeah, yeah. We'll talk later. Okay. But yeah, okay. yeah, I have to okay. give up caffeine right now. But it's not That's... fun, and I miss it so much. But it's like I don't know. That would be tough. Social media and coffee. No, Ooh, girl. I'd explode. Oh, girl, I'd probably just explode. I could picture like Angela walking down the street, and in between little like ticks seeing someone with their phone and running, let me get on your phone! Let me smell your coffee, too. Grabbing somebody's coffee and just like, ah. Yes. <laughs> we need to get you, like, a yeah. coffee scented candle so you could just, like, yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm just trying to be healthier for springtime. You're, you're smart. Making... Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to be healthier for springtime. You're smart. But, y'all, I miss it. I want a nice latte. Ooh. Yeah. I'm sounds drinking real good. good. I know, right? I'm at some water. I love coffee <laughs> a lot. I'm a cooffee-holic. Yeah. But, uh, what we talked about yesterday. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Angela, take it yes. away. Willy Wonka. Yes. Yeah. So the creator behind the immersive Willy Wonka experience that ended with children in tears is actually now apologizing. <laughs> Police were even called and families say it was a nightmare event. This is what was depicted in an online advertisement, suspected AI-generated images that boasted a colorful, immersive experience. Attendees paid nearly $50 just to attend this event in Scotland. But uh, this is what they got. A large warehouse Ugh. that was a wah, small wah, maze wah, wah. with a few oversized decorations. Police were actually <laughs> called to the second <laughs> as guests who were demanding <laughs> refunds. Pictures of the event blew up on social media <laughs> as people posted. What? Many wow. Called it a scam. I've gone through this twice, <laughs> but this third time with you guys, it's just, <laughs> I feel like that I can finally let it face. out. That bartender, whatever she was. <laughs> she was making chocolate. Oh, like, you she should be so happy unhappy. when you're making oh, chocolate. Man. But oh I think what's gosh. funnier is it's just literally a poster you can get yeah. at Walmart. Oh, yeah. And tack up. And, and, and just like one, mural. not to like match it to create a mural. Or like <laughs> at least do the same one over and over so you cover the wall. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. so also, bad. Also, why was it so smoky in there? Like, I why know. was it so foggy? You know, the, uh, they the put lab. a smoke machine, There's a fog machine. It was those, to hide uh, the fact that it was an empty warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> smoke and mirrors. Foggy. <laughs> yeah, they uh, couldn't afford the mirrors, but they had the smoke. Yeah, the smoke, had, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Out there. <laughs> Imagine Glasgow. Some, some guy it, looking like Willy Wonka with like the little <laughs> with like the little Oompa Loompas coming up. What? 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 You want? What? You want chocolate? <laughs> Let me guess. And gobstoppers. And then you just see all these kids crying. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I thought she was a bartender. No, You're like, she's making she's chocolate. She's making chocolate. It's a kid's event. I, I, I'm sure the parents wanted a drink. There you go. Like, a fizzy horrible. lifting drink. There you yeah. go. I feel like this is a story you will always be able to tell your friends and family. And like <laughs> yeah. growing up. Yeah. You know? uh, oh. Side note, I did see a video on TikTok of moms going after him. And he's like, we're going to get your money back. And they're like, what can you say to our children? What are you going to say to them? <laughs> yes. I he's like, we'll get your money back. Video. We need to see this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tom. It's great. Tom, yeah. Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> Would you go to that immersive experience? Uh, you know, I said this morning on Daybreak, only if I was if they were serving chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Well, you well, would go then because there was chocolate. I think that Oompa Loompa was working on it. Like One it was down the street. One, One, like three-year-old chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. <laughs>